Hey, what's going on? It's Jack Malaco for Beard Brand. Let's talk about the first week of growing your new beard. It's been exactly seven days since I started growing this beard, and in that time, I've learned a thing or two. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not the first time I've ever grown out a beard, and it's not the first time I've ever grown out a beard on this channel, but it's the first time I've done it in a while, and in this process, I've relearned a few things. Today, I'd like to share with you three thoughts that I've learned in the past seven days of growing this beard back. So what we're gonna to tackle today is three fronts. The appearance, the feeling, and the expectations. And that one's important, so bear with me to the end, okay? Let's start out with the appearance. And like the name suggests, it's really just that. It's how the beard looks seven days after growing it. Keep in mind, I haven't done anything to this beard at all other than care for it. I haven't touched my face with a razor or blade whatsoever in this time. So in that seven day span, I've learned that uh, you're gonna find out what your growth pattern is. Depending on whether or not you're older or younger than me, keep in mind I'm 24 years old, your beard might look a little bit lesser or a little bit fuller than what I have. But I want you to keep in mind that there are different growth patterns for what you can expect within the first week. For a lot of guys, and I mean a lot, a lot of you are not gonna see much growth at all within that first week. I'm a little bit of an anomaly. I'm young and I grow my beard very, very fast at the beginning and it slows down at a certain point, but those first few days into that first month are really, really fast. That's not necessarily the case for everyone out there, especially those of you who are younger, early 20s into your teens. I've said this before in other videos, but you're probably going to see one of two different types of growth patterns within your beard at the beginning. You're either gonna see a strength in the mustache and the goatee area, or you're gonna see a strength in the cheeks and the neck area. With me, you find that it's in the cheeks and the neck, okay? So if you're not in that category, you're gonna find the vice versa, the mustache and the goatee. There is, however, exceptions to this rule. Nothing when it comes to beards is set in stone, and that goes the same for growth patterns. If you find that you don't have either of these two patterns, or maybe you have the entire thing growing in evenly, congratulations, you're one of the lucky few. I'll touch on this a little bit more in the expectation category of this video, but keep in mind, what you see in the first week is not what you're gonna get. You're just starting out, so be patient with it, all right? Now, if we look a little bit closer at the hair itself growing on your face, you're probably gonna see either one of two different types. The main type, which you see mostly covering my face right now, which is really gonna be what the beard is, and then there's some lighter hairs. And especially if you're younger or if your genetics aren't exactly firing on all cylinders for beard growth, you're gonna see these really light color hair, which are vellus hairs. There's a whole subject into how you turn the vellus hairs into real hairs and whatever. That's not what we're covering today. All I wanna tell you is you're either gonna see this or you're gonna see this. Again, this is only seven days in. What you see is not gonna be what you get ultimately, all right? Moving right along. Let's talk about the feeling. And this is where it's gonna really test a lot of you first time beard growers. Because in that first week, you might be developing an itch. That's especially true if you've never done this before. And that's where products come into place and proper care of your face comes into play, all right? The entire reason beard oil was created in the first place was not only to give your beard a great shine and a great look, but it's to take care of the skin underneath the hair. And that's really critical within these first seven days. If you are experiencing an itch within that first week of beard growth, I would absolutely encourage you to pick up a bottle of beard oil or a jar of utility balm, all right? That is gonna give you the much needed relief for what you are experiencing right now. And it's also gonna make the hair healthier looking as it grows out. It's not gonna completely transform the look of your beard, but it's gonna transform the way your beard feels. So do yourself a favor. Pause the video right now, go check out the description. I've put a few things down there. If you wanna check it out, now is the perfect time to start investing in the care part of your beard, all right? If you don't wanna do that and go for the full natural and let the itch just kinda of happen, it's fine. You can do that, you muscle through it, all right? Finally, let's talk about the expectations. Now this is something I talk about a lot in my videos and that is to be realistic with your goals. You are not going to have a full beard at seven days in, that is just ridiculous. No one does that. You can have a nice growth of scruff within a week, but realistically, you're not gonna have a beard within that time period, all right? So be patient with it, because if this is your first time, this is where it's really gonna test you, okay? Not only is it not gonna look fantastic, it's not gonna feel fantastic, and it's not gonna be what you want, all right? This is where you have to decide, are you going to keep the scruff, are you gonna shave, or are you gonna commit to doing the full beard. Because I think at the very least, you should give yourself 30 days of growth. A lot of people wonder when is the proper time to assess when you need to add a neckline and the cheek line. And that 
is not a simple answer, okay? It really depends on the type of person and what type of growth pattern you have. If you're experiencing what I have, and it's really predominantly growing down here and growing all the way up into your eyeballs, that is when you can probably pick up the razor and establish the neckline and the cheek line after a week, especially if you are in the type of profession where you need to look professional and put together, I would absolutely urge you to establish a cheek line and establish a neckline as soon as possible. Now, almost every single guy on this channel has covered how to establish a neckline and cheek line at some point in this channel. So if you want to figure out how to do that, go ahead and check out the description. I will put some of those videos down there, all right? But if you wanna go for the full month and not shave at all, that will give you the opportunity to really see where the hair is coming in. So keep those expectations real, establish the neckline and the cheek line if you want, care for the beard during this first week, and remember, You've got to be patient throughout this entire thing. I'll check back in with you guys next week and show you what two weeks of growth looks like on myself and tell you what you can expect and anticipate for within two weeks of growing. All right, and there we go. That's all we got for this week. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can find out what's going on within your second, third, and fourth weeks of growth for your first new beard. And until I see you next week, hey, keep on growing. Whoa, guys, beard brand, beard oil. Often copied, often imitated, often compared to, it is the pinnacle beard oil in the market. Head over to beardbrand.com and invest in your beard, invest in yourself, and keep on growing.